Hello friends, we are going to draw a flowchart to calculate the grade of N students. So, we are going to obtain a range that means number of students from the user and we are going to calculate the grades by obtaining the subject marks as an input for the each student. So, this is the logical chart of the flow chart. Then, I am obtaining the range from the user, input, input n. I am utilizing variable set i equal to 1. I am checking the condition. If i less than or equal to n. So I am displaying the student followed by the number. Print Print Student is a string. Or by variable i. Initially it will print student 1. If i less than n equal to yes. I am obtaining the input for the 5 subject marks. Input M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. I am obtaining the 5 subject marks. Next, I am calculating the total. Total the variable t equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5. So, 5 such marks are added and stored in the variable t. t stands for the total. Total mark equal to M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, I am adding 5 subject mark and calculating the total. Next, I am going to calculate the percentage. So, percentage equal to total divided by 5. I am connecting the same page connector, the circle, the same page connector, the connector connects, ok, after the sign total, it will go to A, A points to percentage equal to total divided by 5, so after total, the percentage will get calculated. Next, I am checking the percentage. If percentage greater than or equal to 50. If it is true, I am printing the student is pass.
print pass. If P greater than 50, I am printing the grade is pass if it is true. If it is false means I am printing the grade is fail. Print the grade is fail. If it is false. So after that I am incrementing I by 1 I plus 1 and connecting that the flow line back to the Bayesian statement. If I less than or equal to n means I am printing student I instead of I is 1. I am updating the phi sub x mark and calculating the total by adding the marks m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 plus m5 and calculating the percentage. This is same page connector. I am connecting the flow line of the flow chart here. Okay. So after this step is of the total, the step is p equal to t divided by phi. That means percentage equal to total divided by phi. I am checking percentage is greater than or equal to 50. If it is true, I am printing pass. Otherwise, p is less than 50. I am printing fail. And connecting the flow line back to the Bayesian statement. If i less than or equal to n is false, means i is greater than n. In this case, I am ending this flow chart with the logical n. Now we will take a sample input and check how this flow chart works. Input n. n I am giving two, two students set i equal to 1 i equal to 1 I am checking i less than or equal to n that means 1 less than or equal to 2 which is true in this case print student 1 I am printing student the i value is 1 so applying a mark for the student Input, you know, I am entering a phi subject mark and calculating a total. For example, my input is I am entering 90, 80, 90, 80, and 80. Total equal to 90 plus 80 plus 90 plus 80 plus 80. This is equal to 90 plus 80, 170, 170 plus 90, 260, 260 plus 80, 340, 340 plus 80 equal to 420. So, which is equal to 420. Percentage equal to the percentage is total divided by so, 5 subject mark in obtaining total will be 5. 420 divided by 5. 8 times the remaining 20. This is 4 times. My percentage is 84. I am checking here 84 greater than 50. 84 greater than 50. The condition is true. Then my result is pass. So, pass is the result for the student 1. In the next iteration, the result is pass. I will get incremented by 1. I equal to 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. I less than or equal to n. So, 2, I is connected back to the addition statement. 2 less than or equal to 2, condition is true. I am checking student type. I am printing student type. 
स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट टू सो मैं अपने नहीं इनपुट फॉर स्टूडेंट टू फाइव सब्जेक्ट मार्क्स आई एम गिविंग मार्क फोर्टी 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 एंड फोर्टी टोटल इक्वल टू फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी फोर्टी प्लस फोर्टी एटी प्लस फोर्टी वन ट्वेंटी वन सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड विच इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एंड चेकिंग फोर्टी रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू फिफ्टी विच इज फॉल्स इन दिस केस डिफरेंट ग्रेड इज फेल फॉर दी स्टूडेंट टू द ग्रेड इज फेल नाउ आई एम इंक्रीमेंटिंग आई बाई वन आई इक्वल टू एक्सिस्टिंग वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज टू टू प्लस वन विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड कंटिन्यू बैक टू द रेशन स्टेटमेंट It will check i less than or equal to n. So three less than or equal to n value two, which is false. Okay, this is the false line. No, if condition is false, means it will reach the logical stop. So the flow chart will end. The flow chart is working perfectly. You can use this flow chart for the any number of students by giving the value n. If you give n equal to three, three students. N equal to ten, the flow chart will work for the ten students. So this flowchart is working perfectly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment, and press the bell button. Thank you.